Distinguished colleagues, international guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to Trauma Innovation. It's for you to consolidate and build on your trauma knowledge. Trauma Innovation is really important to bring people together, uh, civilian and military. There have been a lot of lessons in the management of trauma from the point of wounding all the way through to rehabilitation and indeed mental health care. There's a very strong relationship between military medicine and civilian medicine, particularly in the UK, where we place our hospital specialists inside the NHS when they're not deployed on operations. When we have workload on military operations, that's when we learn quickly, and our people can bring that back to the NHS for implementation into the NHS. It's vitally important that the public sector healthcare individuals interact very closely with the military and indeed vice versa because there's so much going on, especially from the point of view of exploiting advanced technologies. It's imperative that we work together. We've each got lessons to learn from one another. So events like this bring about phenomenal opportunities to network and that in itself is a huge benefit of being here, not only from the research that's been undertaken, but we can share and learn from one another. Any types of discoveries that we make, we must work with industry to translate those into actual products and, and, and get them into the clinic. It's great to see such a big turnout. The lecture theatre is packed and it's a wide spectrum of people from uh, who are new to trauma to quite very senior people. There's lots of sharing of ideas and lots of good information. Very interesting topics, all very pertinent and very well delivered. So I'd say a a very positive um, conference. It links the basics and the biophysics of, of injury to the actual then the clinical of how you fix things. I find that really interesting. It's fascinating to realise the mechanisms of the injury and understand how the fractures and wounds have happened so that we can see what we can do to prevent these injuries in the future. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it and it's good that you know progress is in place and new changes are coming on behalf of the soldiers. I'm very interested in the lines of investigation in trauma innovation. It's important to take the pulse of the scientific investigation of blast and ballistic trauma. It's been really good so far, I've learned like loads. I didn't think I'd learn this much. Um, and the stalls are really interesting as well. They've got some really good interactive ones. This is our first time here. We were not sure what to expect. And I have to say, I am really impressed um, with the number of delegates that are here and also the relevance of everyone that's here. From a medical perspective, everybody you would expect to see within the military domain, all in one room, that's brilliant. That's good for a show. We've met lots of potential new customers, um, so for us to have this exposure in this market is, is really interesting. The amount of visitors we've had from a very highly targeted audience, um, we're very excited. We've signed on for next year already. Uh, Trauma Innovation 2016 has been a great success for us. Doing left of bang is like cheating. It's like getting to start our race before the pistol's gone. And in the context of combat casualty care, that means saving patients' lives and limbs. I see us moving forwards as we've done over the last 10 years uh, considerably. I see medicine changing remarkably. I see new uh, methods of blood delivery. I see new methods of resuscitation. And we've got to keep up to date with that and also be in the front and developing and moving it forwards. We can look forward to the future and innovate together in order to deliver better trauma care. This is, after all, about innovation and innovation comes from interaction and that interaction promotes ideas and that's exactly what we're getting here today at Trauma Innovation.